Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening. This is going to be the mid-March 2024 reading for the zodiac sign of Leo. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive as well as many of the tarot cards. I do have a recommend you check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Well, let's go ahead and get started here. Column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to, or excuse me, column number one, we're going to take a look at any big items coming for the remainder of March. Column number two, we're going to take a look at anything related to money. Column number three, we're going to take a look at anything related to love. And in our fourth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you. Um, but again, yeah, column number one. Let's see what we have. The summary affirmation card to get started with. We have the card of shift. This is a pretty literal meaning, or a pretty literal card here, Leo. It just indicates there's some sort of shift, some sort of change, transition. So I would say a shift, change coming for you in these next few weeks. Well, let's see what we've got going on here. All right, so first up we have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a card. Um, this is like luxury, enjoyment, self-sufficiency. There could be some financial gains happening here as well. This is also a card of enjoyment. I feel like we, um, I don't know. I feel like you've been working hard on something. You've been super stressed about it. And now it's like we've reaped the benefits of it. We can finally appreciate our hard work, be glad for our hard work. But let's go ahead and take a look and see what these other cards mean. So I feel like you've like made it over the hump in these next few weeks. The next card we have is the Page of Cups. This is a card potentially of new love for some of you. So maybe some new love going on. But again, this is like the hard work, the studious card. So I feel like there's something you've been working really hard on that you've been stressed about. And now again, we've like gotten the re reward. We have were able to enjoy it. We've gotten the gains we wanted from it. At the bottom, we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is a card of... Um, this is like stress, exhaustion, this is worry, anxiety. Um, you could see this person sitting up in bed, so it's like you could be losing sleep either because you've been working so hard or you've been worried about this thing. But yeah, I just feel like we've been worried and putting in a ton of hard work on something. But I feel like in the next few weeks here, uh, Leo, you're going to see it through. It's going to be completed and you're going to see the benefits of it, which is great. <clears throat> Taking a look at our clarifiers, first up we do have the two, or excuse me, the Nine of Swords. We just talked about the Nine of Swords. Again, the anxiety, the worry, keeping you up late at night, trying to uh, get things done or worried about getting things done. The next card we have is the Two of Cups. This is also a love card, so I'm not ruling out the fact that uh, new love could be a message for you also coming in these next few weeks. So... Seems like we have two messages happening there. And then at the bottom we have the Ten of Wands. Again, this is stress, exhaustion, having too many burdens. This is being really overwhelmed with it. But I like that we're going from this overworked, overwhelmed stage to like that kind of sigh of the relief. Like, oh, we've made it. We accomplished what we set out to accomplish. So feeling really good about that for you. Now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. So quick money message here for you, Leo. Uh, first we have, so, uh, a money gem, your vibrational connection to abundance shifts on, based on the company you keep. Surround yourself with those that believe in the healing and flow, and flow of financial freedom. So in this call we're going to talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whatever you associate with money. So first up, we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is a card of patience. So I feel like we're waiting for something here. Uh, so again, a sense of patience, sense of waiting that's coming through. The Page of Pentacles, though, this is like money news. This is finding out news of some sort of new money, new money coming in. So I feel like maybe we're waiting for a promotion, waiting for a new job, but we're waiting for more money. I like it though, because I do feel like the wait's going to pay off. Like I feel like the money news is on the other side. The next card we have is the King of Swords. This is very strategic, very intentional here. Uh, Leo, 
So again, I feel like this is a good move long term for you. I feel like what you're waiting for is coming. You know, sometimes we get kind of stuck and we're ending up waiting for something that's never coming. I don't get that feeling here. Again, I feel like what we're waiting for will be worthwhile. I do feel like what you're waiting for is on the other side. And I feel like it's a good move for you long term when we see a card like the King of Swords. At the bottom here, we have the Chariot. The Chariot is a card of action and change and being on a journey. And so we're continuing forward on this journey. And in this case, some of what we're doing is waiting on this journey. But I do feel like it'll work out for you. Again, I feel like it's favorable for you. Um, one thing I love about the Chariot as well is you don't need to know where you're going. You might not need to know the exact path, but we can count on the Chariot taking you to the right place. And with the Page of Pentacles and the King of Swords, I feel like we can rest assured that it's taking you to the right place here. Another thing I want to say with the Chariot is sometimes that's a new vehicle card. So some of you could be getting a new vehicle, Leo. Uh, so super exciting. I am mentioning that because this is like our money investment column and a card can definitely be an investment. <clears throat> All right, looking at our clarifiers, first up we have the King of Cups. This is very tolerant, very empathetic. You have to be tolerant to be patient, right? Um, so, but I feel like you're doing a great job of waiting it out. You're riding the waves or making progress forward, but waiting for this big thing to happen. So this is a reflection of kind of your flexibility and going with the flow and just seeing where things take you. And again, I feel like that's a good position, a good place for you to be in right now. Our next card here is the Lover's card. The Lover's card is a card, um, it, of course it's a love card, but when I see a card like this, oftentimes you need to move to something on a card, it can be a decision. So I do feel like we have a decision here to make. I don't know, maybe another opportunity will come up, so it's like, do we stick with what we've been waiting on, or do we go for something else? Maybe the decision won't be as significant, but I do feel like there's a decision that needs to be made. Um, relationships seem to be making like a play in this. So I feel like you'll want to stay on the path that you're on because of the relationships that you have, Leo. And at the bottom, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card of receiving the gift. So I've, again, I feel like we're getting what we want here. You see this person's handing the other person a cup with the flower in it. So again, I feel like this is the gift. This is what we've been hoping for. This is what we've been waiting for. Um, there's like a sense of innocence that comes along with the Six of Cups as well, but I don't feel like that innocence is like going to be damaged. So again, I feel like if you've been promised something or told that you're going to get something, again, I do see that happening for you. All right, moving on to our next column now. Let's talk about anything related to love. It says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So in this call, we're going to talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love. All right, quite the spread here. Let's go ahead and read through these, though, and see what we come up with. So first up, we have the devil card. The devil card is a card of overdoing something. This is like greed, envy, materialism, obsession. This could be like drugs or alcohol use. Again, it's that act of overdoing any one given thing. So I do feel like something is happening too much right now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's you or if it's like the person that we're in a relationship, but there's too much of something happening right here, right now, Leo. The next card we have is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is a card of self-imposed restrictions. This is also a card of isolation. And again, I feel like we need to take a step back. Again, we need to be doing less of something that's being done right now. So this is about almost like withdrawing, retreating, not doing so much of the one thing that we're doing. We're kind of putting some restrictions on. And at the bottom, we have the Lover's card. We love the Lover's card in the Love column. See how many times we could say the word love. But this is a card of love, partnership, strength together. Um, it can, again, be a decision. We talked about that earlier. But I feel like this is the strength of the relationship. I don't think this relationship is going anywhere. But again, we're doing something too much. We need to make that shift there. Let's take a look and see what other cards we've got here. First up, we have the Page of Cups for Clarifiers. Again, this is a love card. Definitely some love energy. We have the Page of Cups coming up again. I feel like the 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 love is strong here. I don't see this relationship ending. We just started doing something a little bit too much. There could be new love coming in. Also, keep in mind, this could be like family, 
friend, um, co-worker even, but it, it does seem like there is new love in here in the mix for sure. Up next we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very strategic, intentional, long term. Um, this can be a card of getting like professional help too. So depending on what is being overdone, to what extent professional help could be a good good place to go. Just a random random example because I want to stay away from any of the sensitive ones. Like if your car is broken down, we should take it to the mechanic. The same could go for like a therapist or mental health or substance abuse or fighting or overspending, you know, there's financial counselors. So there could be some potential for uh, some professional support is whatever this thing is that's being overdone. But again, I just feel like this is strategic, this is intentional, this is long term. So I feel like this relationship is here to stay. At the bottom, we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups has a literal meaning of wishes coming true, so I love to see this. This is also a card of, like, good health or better health. So whatever this is that's not good, I feel like it's getting better, so I like to see that. And, of course, I don't think we want this relationship to end, so our wish of it getting better without ending is coming true. So um, something's being overdone here, but I do feel like it's going to correct, so I love to see that for you. Let's take a look now at our fourth and final column, which is a message for our future self or spirit guides. This is our summary affirmation card of efficiency. I love efficiency. So lots to do. We want to make sure we're getting things done efficiently. Very much so that like work smarter, not harder. So keep that top of mind. When we have a lot to do, we need to make sure we're doing it as efficiently as possible. So let's take a look here at what messages we've got. First up, we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of stress, exhaustion, having too many burdens. I just said this. We have so, so much to do. So that is what the page of, or excuse me, the Ten of Wands is here to tell us. This is all the things that we need to get done. So we need to be making sure we're doing them efficiently so we aren't overwhelmed with them, so we aren't exhausted, we aren't burnt out. Um, I like this because if we can do things efficiently, we have the temperance card coming in, which is balance and harmony. Um, it's almost like once we can get the ball rolling, it gets easier. So once you start to knock a few things out, then we really gain some momentum and then we get some balance back. But we want to make sure we're staying away from this place of being stressed and exhausted and overwhelmed and overburdened. So we need to make sure we're effectively getting things done. Uh, we do have the world card here at the very end. This is the last card the Major Arcana. This is like completing a goal, completing a lesson. I do think we're going to get a ton of things complete in the next few weeks, which is nice to see. But I also think we're going to go into kind of a less busy period. I feel like this period of having so many things to do all at once seems to be wrapping up and coming to a close here. Looking at our clarifiers, first up we have the Five of Swords. Um... I feel like there could be some conflict or disagreement on how to do something. But what really matters here, Leo, is that we're doing it effectively. We're doing it efficiently. So I do think there could, again, be a difference of opinion on how to get it done. But we need to do it in a way that it doesn't consume all of our time and feel like a complete burden. The next card we have is the death card. Love to see this. For those of you that don't know, the death card does not mean death, but it does indicate like transformation and ending. And again, this is like an ending to such overwhelming, crazy, so many things to do. We're going to a much more calm, balanced period, which is nice to see. At the bottom, we have the Six of Pentacles. This is a card of giving or receiving. I feel like we're giving, 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 and this is talking about that kind of fine balance and things coming back into balance. So some really nice balance cards coming in what might feel like a really crazy period of time. All right, now I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use our Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video here and think of them. But question number one, we have the four of spades, number 49 card. That's going to be a no. Question number two is the three of diamonds, number 48 card. That's going to be a yes. And question number three, we have the king of spades, number 47 card. That's going to be a yes. So no, yes, yes. If you watched your video earlier this month, we did pull a card from our Healing Stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of March. We have Rock Crystal or Clear Quartz, which is good for clarity, purity, energy, doing things in your own way. And last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Leo, your Healing Note says, 
owning your story is one of the bravest things you'll ever do. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, follow. All of those things help me greatly. When you're subscribed, you'll also be notified when I post new content. But thank you so much. Oh, I did also include my Venmo in the comments box if you feel inclined to make a donation. But thank you so much, Leo, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your March.